Hola everybody. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my beloved students. Madam Ruby here logging in for lesson 74 identification test on alcohol. There are two identification tests to distinguish classes of alcohol. Number one is Lucas reagent. Number two is potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate. We also have iodoform test in order to identify a methyl alcohol group. Potassium permanganate and potassium dichromate can differentiate between primary and tertiary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. Whereas, Lucas reagent can differentiate between primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol simultaneously. As we have go through this in lesson 73, we're going to look at the observation closely. If we have a positive reaction of oxidation test on primary and secondary alcohol, the observation would be purple turns to colorless for potassium permanganate and orange turns to green for potassium dichromate. Since tertiary alcohol cannot be oxidized, the color of any oxidizing agent is remains. Let's do example 8.14. Primary alcohol butanol is going to be oxidized using potassium permanganate, H plus, and heat, forming a butanoic acid. The observation would be purple color of KMnO4 solution turns to colorless. Question number two let's do oxidation on 2 butanol using the, uh, potassium dichromate H plus and heat. The product is going to become a butanon and the observation would be orange color of potassium dichromate solution is turning into a green color solution. For tertiary alcohol, no reaction is going to be formed when we put the tertiary alcohol into the solution of sodium dichromate H plus and heat. Therefore, the orange color of the original reagent solution remains. The second reaction that we're going to do on alcohol in order to differentiate uh, its classification is called Lucas test. Lucas reagent is a mixture of concentrated HCl, hydrochloric oh, acid, this. and zinc chloride. This test is suitable for alcohol with less than six carbons only. Phenol does not react with Lucas test. So these are the observation listed in your page 286 on primary alcohol the solution does not turn cloudy at all secondary alcohol the solution will turn cloudy within five minutes and for tertiary alcohol the solution turns cloudy immediately this is what you have done in the virtual experiment 5 last week. I hope you would be able to do the lab report correctly and submit it in goals at the end of this week. Let's do example 8.15. Given to you here is an alcohol which is a primary alcohol. So it is going to react with HCl concentrated and zinc chloride. It is going to produce a haloalkane where the reaction of uh, nucleophilic substitution is carried out. So what is the observation here? Solution 
does not turn cloudy because the reactant here is a primary alcohol. Reacting it with a Lucas reagent doesn't make any difference. Question number two. We are given here the reactant is a cyclohexanol whereby this is a secondary alcohol. Reacting it with a Lucas reagent will produce a chlorocyclohexane which will turn to a cloudy solution within five minutes. So in the lab, we need to monitor the test tube containing this solution closely for at least first five minutes or so. For our third example, 8.15, we are doing Lucas test on an alcohol, which is a tertiary. As we can see, the hydroxy group is attached to a tertiary carbon. So the reactant will, pre, will be producing this product, a haloalkane, whereby uh, the chlorine will substitute hydroxy group. The thing is, this product will make the whole solution cloudy immediately. This can be observed as soon as the reagent is put into the test tube. Idoform test is a very unique um, reaction that we can do on alcohol to detect the occurrence of a specific group. This group is called methyl hydroxy group. If this reaction is positive, if the alcohol contains methyl hydroxy group, it will show a yellow precipitation at the bottom of the test tube. This reagent uh, is iodine, I2 in alkaline solution, which is sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. Apart from I2, potassium iodide also can be used as reagent for idoform test. Here is the methyl hydroxy group, which we are going to see the hydroxy carbon is attached directly to a methyl group. Now, please complete your answers. For example, 8.16, the question is, draw the products of the following reactions and state the observation. As you can see, 2-butanol is the alcohol in question. Does it have a methyl hydroxy group? Yes, it has because the hydroxy carbon here is attached directly to a methyl group, but we want to prove it by doing an idoform test. So the product is, um, is drawn here. And the most important part is we need to report that there is a yellow precipitate uh, solid formed uh, which is uh, CHI3. Okay, for question number two, can you see any methyl hydroxy carbon in the reactant? Yes, you are good now. So, you understand that since the hydroxy carbon is attached directly to a methyl group, this reactant would give a positive result if we react it with idoform reagent. So, let's draw the product here and write the other byproducts. The most important byproduct would be the solid CHI3 yellow precipitation. 
Alhamdulillah, thank you for watching and listening. Today, we have done three types of reaction. Lucas reaction, oxidation reaction and idoform reaction. I will see you again soon in lesson 75, phenol. Assalamualaikum. Have a nice day.